Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this top here. It's got a little bit of lace edging, uh, short sleeves, and it's pretty much just um, kind of a looser uh, top top style. Um, so it's it's relatively really, really easy. If you look in the description box, I'll give you such counts for different sizes for the measurements. If you you seen the pictures of, of me, if you feel like this is too low, this uh, mesh portion, you can always leave some of that off. That you know, just do. It's actually a repeat. Uh, it's a certain stitch, and there's two repeats. You could leave like like one of them off and cut it in half. You know, if you don't want that much showing. Um, so very easy to customize to any size, to any liking. You can make leave the sleeves off, make them longer, make your top shorter, make your top longer. But let me stop the camera and I'm, or let me set the cameras down and I'll give you some measurements. Okay, for mine, um, normally I for a top like this I would probably wear a medium, but I went ahead and made a large so it'd be a little bit looser on me, kind of like you can see in the pictures what it looks like. I didn't want it to be like. Uh, real form fitting. So I went for the large size and I'll tell you the measurements on that. So it'd be more, you know, move, move, move aroundable. I guess kind of like t shirty like I always wear, <laughs> wear t-shirts. So it's about 19 across, which would give it um, about a 38 inch uh, chest size. Uh, that's what you'd be going for when you're measuring. Um, sleeves. About six inches. Of course, you can make them longer or shorter. I'm trying to show you in the camera there. I just don't have a lot of room on my desk. And then I'll give you a length on it. Now I'm five three, so I'm not very tall. So you see in the picture there where it lays on me. So I'm going to measure from the top of the shoulder all the way down real quick. Give you a quick measurement on that that way you can adjust and do yours longer however you want so from the top of the shoulder down <clears throat> um right at 25 inches and then from the neck line down so here's the neck and you can see it scoops up a bit i guess on the shoulder area it's 23 inches okay and yeah so yeah like i said i went ahead and went for the large but look in the description box for the stitch counts for different sizes okay and let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project i used universal yarns cotton supreme dkc spray okay let's turn it around here so this is a 100 percent cotton yarn so it's pretty breathable and you you don't have to use this yarn but i do recommend using a DK, which is a lightweight number three. Um, there are 230 yards per hank of this, and I went through all, I mean, absolutely every last bit, you'll see in the video, <laughs> of three hanks. So 690 yards, I mean, I had none left at all. So for my size. So, you know, if that gives you some type of indication if you're going to make a smaller of course this three hanks or that, that the 690 yards will be plenty but if you're going to make it make it bigger you'll need more than that um of a lightweight three the color i'm using i think it's just called yeah red remember you don't have to use this and dk will work just fine and then i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook Okay, if you gauge your projects, I don't, but if you do, um, I'm going to do a double crochet gauge. So it's 13 double crochets across equal 4 inches and 7 rows of double crochet like this. 7 rows equals 4 inches. Okay, so remember to check the description box for the chain count for the sizing. But in case you want to know uh, the stitch count, we are starting on the uh, lacy part at the top first. So that is done in a multiple of six plus three, which means that your beginning chain needs to be evenly divisible by six. And then you add three more to your base chain. So 
um, making uh, my size, which is medium, medium to large, um, I am going to be starting out with a chain of 69. Okay, so now we're going to start row one. We are going to put a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember, we don't count this one that's on our hook. So single crochet into that second stitch. And then we're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch. And now we are going to start the repeat of row one by chaining four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. We skip. And then we put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one in the next and then one in the next. And that is what we're gonna repeat for row one. So again, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna skip four. Skip, 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 skip. And one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one there and one there. Again, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, skip, 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 and one single crochet in each of the next two. And you want to go ahead and repeat this pattern until you get to the end of the row. And you should be able to finish out with a complete repeat. Okay, I've made it to the end of row one and if you're following along with me, you'll have 11 of these chain spaces. Check the description box for your size to see how many chain spaces you'll have. Okay, so now we're going to start row two. Row, row two starts the repeat row. So rows two, three, four, and five are the repeat rows for this. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as anything. And we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right here back into the very first stitch. Just like that. Now we are going to start the repeat of row two. And in this chain here, chain space here, we are going to work right through it. Two double crochets. So there's one and two. And we're going to chain two and work two more double crochets. So there's one and two. And that is what we are going to do in every single one of our chain spaces. So we're going to jump to the next chain space and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work two doubles. There's one and two, and then we're going to chain two, go back in and work two more doubles. Like that. Go same thing again, jump to our next chain space, go right through the space, two doubles. chain two and two doubles and we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of row two all right i'm coming to the end of row two and i just did my two doubles chain two two doubles into my last chain space now i'm going to put a double crochet into the last stitch and that will end row two and now we're going to go ahead and start row three so row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. That chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right back into that very first stitch there. Like that. And now we're going to chain two. One, 
two. And we are going to put two single crochets into this next chain two space right here. Right here, just go right through the space and work two singles. So there's one and there's two. And now we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, jump all the way over here to the next chain two space and work two single crochets right into that space. So that's what we're gonna repeat now for row three. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Jump all the way over to your next chain two space and work two single crochets into the space. There's one and two. Again, chain four. Jump over to your next chain two space, so way over here, and work two singles right through the space. And we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to near the end of the row, and I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I just did my two single crochets here in this last chain two space. So I'm going to do a chain of two, one, two, and I'm going to put a double crochet into the last stitch. And that will end row three. Just like that. All right, now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to start row four. And we are going to double crochet right back into the very first stitch. Like that. And then we are going to chain one. Now we're going to put two double crochets right back here into this first chain space. So there's one. And two like that. Now we're going to start the repeat. We're going to jump over here to the next chain space and we're going to work two double crochets. There's one and two. Chain two and two double crochets all through that chain four space. Like that. Now we're going to jump over here to the next chain four space and work two double crochets. There's one and two, chain two, and two more double crochets. And we're going to repeat this pattern of two doubles, chain two, two doubles, into every chain four space until we get to near the end of row four. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four. I did two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into this chain four space. Now we're gonna work in this little space here. So we're gonna put two double crochets right through the space. There's one and there's two. And then we're gonna chain one and double crochet into the last stitch. And that will end row four. Now we're going to go ahead and start row five and we are going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, we're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch. Like that. And then we're going to put a single crochet here in this chain space. Like that, and now we're going to start a repeat of the row. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we are going to jump over here to this chain two space, and we're going to work two single crochets into this space. 
So there's one and there's two. And now we're going to repeat again. One, two, three, oops, sorry. Three, four. Jump over here to this chain two space and work two single crochets right into that space. So that's what we're going to repeat for row five. Chain four, two, three, four. Jump over here to the next chain two space and work two single crochets. And we're going to repeat this pattern until we get near the end of row five. All right, I'm coming to the end of row five. So I did my two single crochets into the slash chain two space. So I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to end by putting one single crochet into this last chain space here on the end. So go right into that chain space and single crochet. And then one single crochet into the last stitch like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five one more time. Now if you look in the comment section of this video, um, at the very top will be a comment from me and there will be timestamps. And if you click on those timestamps, there'll be one for row two, three, four, and five. It'll take you back to the beginning of each of those rows. So you don't have to reverse or rewind. Um, it'll take you directly to the row that you need to be. Now remember, we're only repeating rows two, three, four, and five one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that regardless of what size you're making. It's just one more of those repeat rows. And I'll meet back up with you here in just a minute. Okay, so I have my, I did my complete repeat there of rows two through five again. So now starting with row one. I have a total of nine rows. So you should have ended in a chain four row. All right, now we're gonna to continue to work up and build the shoulder area and the neckline. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna continue where we left off. We're going to chain one and turn. And now I'm gonna work one double crochet into the very first stitch. one double into that next stitch right there that next single crochet now i'm going to start the repeat of this row and i'm going to put four double crochets right through this chain space here so let's go right through it and work four doubles so one two three and four and then I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next two single crochets from the previous row so these two singles here I'm going to put one double in each of those just like that and then again one double crochet I'm sorry four double crochets four double crochets into the next chain four space so let me let up there there that's better so there's one two three Four, and then one double crochet in each of the next two single crochets there so one and two so this is actually a row 10 that we're working on here so what that's the repeat we're going to put four double crochets in each of the chain four spaces and one double crochet in each of the single crochets all the way across until we get to the end of the row okay i'm coming here to the end and make sure you put one double crochet into these last two stitches and if you're following my size you should have a total of 68 double crochets across if you're following a different size 
please look in the description box for the total number of crochets that you should have. Okay, so for rounds 11, or rows 11 and 12, they're both going to be the same. We are going to chain one and turn, and we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch across. So we go into this very first double crochet here, and double crochet. And one double in every stitch until we get to the end of row end of row eleven. And you'll have following along with me the sixty-eight stitches. And then we will chain one and turn for row twelve and repeat another row of one double crochet in every stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and work round uh, rows eleven and twelve. Remember one double in every stitch, both rows are the same. And I'll meet back up with you after I finish out row 12. All right, so I have uh, completed starting down here. We had our 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and now we're going to mark off for the neckline. So uh, remember again also look in the description box for how many stitches you need to go over for the, whatever size you're making for your neckline so for mine I'm going to chain one and turn my work um, everybody will do it the same except for the number of stitches that you do across will be different depending on what size that you're doing so what I'm going to do is I am going to do one double crochet into the first 20 stitches so I'm going to go into this very first one and double crochet and I want to do 20 in a row. That one counts as number one. Okay, I got my 20 double crochets. I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and I'm gonna turn my work and I'm gonna go across one more time, putting one double crochet in these 20 stitches here. Now remember each size will have a different number here. So I'm gonna work across, putting one double in every stitch. And when I get to the end here of this row, I'm going to tie off and you can leave a long tail for sewing um, later on for when we sew it together if you want. Okay, I made it to the end here and then I tied off. So what we're going to do now is flip our work around like that. And we're going to start over here and do the same thing that we just did here. So what we're going to do is we need to start 20 stitches in and work this way and then back this way. That way our double crochets are going the same direction. Okay. So when I'm going to count for my size, I'm counting in uh, over 20 double crochets. And starting in that 20th double crochet, I am going to pull my yarn through. I'm going to chain one and I'll go back into that same stitch and a double crochet. And I'm going to work one double crochet across until I get to the end. In my size, I should have 20. All right, I made it to the end, so I'm just going to chain one and turn my work and go across, putting one double crochet in every stitch again. 
and then when you get to the end here of this row you want to tie off and if you want to leave a long tail for sewing later you can do that when we, when we sew up the shoulder area all right so this is what we got so far this is going to be our neck opening of course we'll clean that up later shoulder area and now we're going to work down here so what i'm going to do is take my work flip it like that and we're going to build uh the main portion of the shirt by working downward just rows of double crochet so i'm going to start right here actually right here these first two single crochets at the very beginning just go into the first one and start your yarn chain one go right back into it and double crochet and then a double crochet into the next single crochet and four double crochets into this chain four space one double crochet into these next two single crochets right here four double crochets into the next chain four space one double crochet into the next two single crochets and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of our row I will stop and point out something that you are probably noticing right now it does sway in and it will continue you do rows down this will continue to be swayed in right here where we did this decorative shells or whatever these are that's normal okay you're not doing anything wrong um, it's gonna sway in on both sides okay so completely normal so we'll go ahead and continue working four double crochets in each of the chain spaces and one double crochet in each of the single crochets until we get to the end of the row okay so I've made it to the end and we're gonna call this row one of the main part of our top okay since we flipped it and now we're working downward we got the top part done now we're gonna work on the bottom part so we'll just say we just did row one and if you're following along with me you should have a total of 68 stitches um, <clears throat> remember that's gonna be the magic number for for my size now what I'm gonna do is very easy I'm going to just be putting for the remainder for the length that I want rows of double crochet so I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to work one double crochet so this would be row two that I'm on of the bottom part of our top one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row row two at the bottom and I'll have 68 stitches at the end of every single row now I am going to do a total of 20 eight rows for uh, the length that I want you can do more or less depending on maybe you're taller than me or shorter than me or maybe you want it to be longer or shorter than what mine looks like this part is completely up to you um, you can do as many rows as you want depending you know whatever size you're doing this part is up to you on the on how many rows you do but I'm going to do 28 rows. So we count this row that we just did as number run, row one of the bottom, and then we're working on row two, and I'm gonna do a total of 28 rows together. This is one, two, 
all the way down until I finish out row 28 all rows of double crochet 68 stitches for my size at the end of every row remember check the description box for how many stitches you'll have at the end depending on what size you'll, you're doing so once you get that done you want to make two panels the same and I want to show you here real quick I have one done that dip in it and I just want to show you it how come it is normal for that to be like that see that that dip there it's like that on both sides okay so when that starts to happen don't worry about it it's it's okay so you can see that I went all the way down with the rows of double until I got the length that I wanted which for me was 28 rows and then you need to do two panels the exact same and then we'll work on sewing them together and putting some edging on them all right so i have got my two pieces done yay all right so now we're just gonna sew them together so that's the the easy part so remember you can do yours longer if you want and remember i did 20 eight rows on the bottom and that is counting this first row right here that we did in the chains all the way down to 28 but more or less it's fine and it's up to you okay so i'm going to be slip stitching and hand sewing my pieces together so go ahead and clip your yarn off your piece now we're going to put our two pieces together um both sides are pretty much the same <clears throat> they look the same but you want to make sure um, that I'll show you. So you see how this bottom row of double crochet is the wrong side. Uh, the underside, the other piece, it's also the wrong side. So if you look closely, this bottom row of double crochet on this panel is facing right side. And then right here is the right side it's going on top of it which is exp which exposes the wrong side on both sides if that makes sense it's not really that big of a deal but I do want my double crochet rows to line up with each other um, back and forth wise because you know they do look different when you work double crochets back and forth so and I am going to, going to be sewing it uh, to where when I'm done sewing it I'll be flipping it um, inside out so the seam is on the inside so whatever side you like best um, make sure you put that on the inside both pieces so I like the side where my last row of double crochet is the right side on both pieces so I put them together like this and then I'll sew my piece up and then when I flip it right side out that that's what will show so that's not really that important um, of however you want to do it just just try to keep them lined up Okay, so I got it how I want. I'm going to fold it up a bit. And I'm going to sew up this up here first. So for this, I'm going to use um, the tails that I left hanging around. And I left way, way long ones. Let me <laughs> clip them down a bit. Sometimes I leave them too long and then I'm like, what the heck? Okay, let me put it up here. So I could do it better. Okay, so I'm just going to take them like this. Got my pieces together. And I'm going to slip stitch them together with my crochet hook. So I'm going to go through. And if you don't have any tails remaining, you can just use, um, just grab a piece of yarn and pull it through. Just like you're attaching a piece of yarn. But I'm going to use my tail. There's two tails here, actually. Either one of them. I'm going to try to hide. No, just either one of them. I'm going to pull it through. So I'm going, th I'm going through, oops, the wrong stitch, the first stitch on this piece and the first stitch on this piece, and I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to chain one. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next stitch here and the next stitch on the other piece. Gotta look around a minute, find it, and slip stitch. If you, I'm going to do this all the way across the next stitch on this one and the next stitch on the other piece and slip stitch. If you prefer to use a yard needle, that's fine too. I mean, 
whatever way you're comfortable with sewing. Some people don't like to sew at all, and that's understandable. I really don't mind sewing, actually. I prefer sewing my garments up <laughs> than I do making them one piece. I don't know why. It's just easier for me, but... Just go ahead and slip stitch all the way across this shoulder area, and then we'll do the same for the other one. <clears throat> oh no, I hope my yarn's not too short. That happens. So this is this sewing, or this is sewing up our shoulder area. Yep, it's going to be too short, so I have to start some more. So, I'll tie that one off. <laughs> start another one. Okay, so I'll just grab a piece of yarn. That's what happens. And start it in the next stitch here. Actually, I'm going to start in the same stitch. Chain one. And go to the next one. I cut it off short. Here I was saying that it was too long. And then I cut it off too short. That happens. Okay, I'm almost at the end here. And you should have equal number. It should end up uh, equal. <clears throat> okay. One more. And then I'm going to tie that off. Flip it. Okay, now I'm going to show you what... Oh, now i got a bunch of tails to hide there. Okay, when you flip it right side out, you can see that it is a nice, clean seam there. Everybody likes a nice, clean seam. I do, I do. So that's what I'm going to do over here to the other side. The same thing we just did. Um, and slip stitch it together. And then I'm going to hide my tails. And then we'll start sewing up the sides. Okay, so I got both of my side, uh, my shoulder areas sewed up. But I, I haven't flipped it right side out yet. So now what we're going to do is measure for the armholes. Now this would be a good time to try it on. And um, see where you want to put your armholes. Now remember, it's going to have that divot there. That's fine. I usually, for me, I usually leave about six inches for my armholes. So, I'm just going to take a guess. Um, I think I'm going to start sewing maybe right about here on mine. And then leave about that for my armholes. Now, I highly suggest you try it on because every woman's body is different. But I think I'm going to start just a little bit into the decoration here and to sew it together it's just going to we're going i got my yarn needle and my matching yarn here and i'm going to pull it through and i'm going to be doing the back and forth motion not the whip over motion now you want to try to sew it i'm going to tie just a little knot here so it doesn't slip away before i get this tail hidden later you want to um, do it as neatly as possible. So when you get down here into the rows, you want to try to make sure that each panel of your double crochet row lines up uh, correctly with each other. That way when you get down to the bottom, you don't have like some extra hanging over. So I'm going to neatly sew mine back and forth like this. And I'm just going to take my time doing it because I want it to have a nice seam. But I also want to make sure I keep my rows completely lined up. So, as you can see, I'm getting ready to hit the double crochet rows. And sometimes it helps to pin it together if you have some little pins to make sure you keep your rows lined up on both sides. I'm always constantly, constantly looking after every couple stitches. I'll look and make sure it's staying lined up and i'm just going through the double crochets on the end of each row like this and i'm gonna look and make sure that it's staying lined up because i want it to be clean and lined up 
Now this is how I'm going to do both sides. Now you want to make sure wherever you started your sleeve hole on this side that you started the same on the other. I'm going to work my way all the way down, but actually what I'm going to do, let me look here, make sure I'm keeping lined up. It's easy to get off track when you're working on the sides of the doubles like this. I think I just took that out. Try it again. So I'm going to work all the way down. But I think when I get down here, I'm going to leave about three rows unsewn on mine. That way it has a little bit of uh, flare opening there at the end. You don't have to do that. You can sew it all the way up or you can e leave even more rows open if you want. That's up to you. But I think I'll leave um, three. Yeah, three will be good enough for me. So I'm going to sew all the way down until I have three rows left and then I'll tie off. And then I'll go do the same thing on the other side. Remember, it's very important you start your sleeves in the same spot on each side, wherever it fit com comfortably on you. And take your time sewing it up here, looking like every couple sews to make sure your double crochet rows are lining up correctly. That way it's not, like I said, if they don't line up correctly, not only will it look awkward, it will also won't line up at the bottom. So, all right, I'm going to continue until I get my shirt all sewn up. See you in a second. Okay, so I got my shirt all sewn up. I went ahead and sewed all the way down. I was, I told you I was going to leave those three rows undone, but I decided not to. But you still can if you want. So, I flipped it right side out now. So, the seam is pretty clean right there. Now I'm going to add sleeves. You don't have to add sleeves if you want, don't want to, but I did one sleeve already. I'll show you how we're going to do that. It's very easy. So you want to take your piece. Now the first row is the important row on the sleeve because you want to make sure you get the same number on each side of the sleeve. So we got one side here. You can see the seam where we sewed it this side and this side and we're going to do double crochet rounds of double crochet so you want to make sure that you get the same number the number of double crochet on this side. crochets on this side as you do on this side and then you want to make both sleeves the exact same so what i usually do is just kind of start um kind of at the seam somewhere and i always say to every one of these double crochets that's laying on the side see that how they're all laying on the side like that i put two stitches in it so that's the kind of guide i kind of go by that so i'm going to start kind of in the side of one of those doubles pull through my yarn chain one i'm going to go back in that same stitch and do a double crochet And then I'm going to work my way up to the seam, evenly spacing out my single crochets. And like I said, generally to every double crochet that's laying on its side, I'll put two doubles into it. So I kind of just work my hook through it. So there's one, and here's the other half of the double, and there's two. And then again... Do your best. Now you may not have the same number of stitches that I have. Just remember to, to make sure your sleeves are the same.
So I'm going to continue to work up until I get to the seam here. Make sure you keep a correct count of your stitches here. Okay, so I've made it up to the seam here. I'm going to go in that little spot where the seam is right here. And then I'm going to work my way back around down this side, making sure that I have the same number of stitches that I do on this side that I do on this side. Don't count this one that we just put in the seam. So we'll count it later, but right now we just want to make sure we have, um, like I have 20 stitches on this side and then the one in the seam. Then I want to make sure I have 20 stitches on this side also. So I'm going to continue down around again. All right, so I've made it down here to the seam here at the bottom, like where your armpit area is. So I have 20 stitches on this side, 20 stitches on this side, and the one in the seam. Now I'm going to do a double crochet two together over this seam right here. So I'm just going to go in, yarn over, go in. Just do your best to kind of get over this, this seam to do a double crochet two together. I know it's kind of hard to see the stitches. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you go in, yarn up, draw a loop, go through the first two loops, and then yarn over and go into another spot across from the seam or into the seam, just wherever you can find a place, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, and yarn over and go through all three. So now that brought me at 42 stitches. Now remember yours could be different than mine if you left a bigger armhole that's fine and it's not even that important as long as you evenly spaced out your single crochets or double crochets got the same amount on each side did one in the top seam and kind of decrease over that bottom seam um, and then in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet like that that that's it so that that first row is probably the hardest to get the numbers correct and you got to do the same thing on the other sleeve make sure you come out with the same amount of numbers i had to i had to redo my other i already got my other sleeve done but i had to redo it <laughs> that first row a few times to get it to come out right but i got it so now what i'm going to do is nine total rows of double crochet including this one right here that we just did would be number one so i'm going to do eight more and you can do as many as you want so if you want to just do a couple that's fine or if you want to do more than me that's fine it's completely up to you but for me i am going to do a total of nine so now i'm starting on row two it's easier now I'm just doing one double crochet in every stitch all the way around and when i get back to my starting point i will end with the slip stitch into my first double crochet and start again until i get a total of nine rounds Okay, so I've got both of my sleeves done. I just tied them off after my nine rows. You can do, like I said, however many rows you want to do. Like that. Now I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to go around the neck uh, and with the row of single crochet. So, take my yarn. And you could start it really on either side because both sides look the same. But if there's a side that you prefer to be um the back then start on the back side so let's go ahead here's my neck i'm going to start um right here okay here is our seam and then here's the two rows of double crochets we did after that one two the short rows and then here is our neckline. See that? So I'm going to start in the stitch right here that we started the two short rows for our neckline. Right there. Now this does not have to be exact, exactly like mine. We're just going to do our best to kind of, you know, clean up the edge. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work up the sides of these double crochets. Again, just evenly spacing out my single crochets. So the number you have 
will be different than the number I have, and that's okay, as long as our single crochets get evenly spaced out to the best of our ability. That's all we can do. Trying to add that tail too <laughs> as I go. And then I'm working around down the other side here. Okay, so you can see I've made it across those rows of single crochet that are kind of up on the sh uh, those rows of double crochet there that are kind of up on the shoulder and now I'm working across the front and you'll be able to see those stitches really well because they're just regular double crochets so go into this stitch here that has this double crochet into it single crochet and then one single crochet in every stitch and when we get to the other side where we have to go up the sides of the doubles again you just evenly space out your single crochets and then again one single crochet in every stitch across the back and then you can end by slip stitching into your first single crochet if you want to do another round of single crochet you can do that too I'm almost out of yarn. I'm playing yarn chicken. So I won't I won't be able to do another round for sure. Hopefully I have enough. See that just cleans up the edge a bit to make it look a little neater so we don't have sloppy edges. I'm almost to the double crochet, so I'll go ahead and do that one more time. Show you. My yarn is splitting because there's not very much left. I'm at the end. Okay, so here I am again um, on the other side. So. You can see we went across the front of the top like that and we went across or down these so hard to show you right here we evenly spaced out single crochets along the shoulder and that's what we're going to do along this shoulder the same thing so remember we go into the single crochet here that this double crochet is in and then evenly space out some your single crochets up the shoulder area and then around the front we do one single crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point and I'll be back with you there okay so I have made it back to the beginning and I am going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet and tying off now, like I said, you could go around again, and honestly, if I had more yarn, <laughs> I would probably do another row of single crochet around it. You don't have to, but I probably would have, but I'm lucky that I've made it to the end with what I have. Sometimes the cards just are not in our favor, and we work with what we have, so that's all I have. <laughs> so... I'm only doing the one row, but it still looks good. It cleaned it up nicely, and that is it. I'm not going to do anything on the bottom. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, but if you want to go around it with single crochet, by all means, or fringe it, or whatever you want to do, but I'm going to leave that, but that's it. I'm going to hide in um, a couple tails that I have hanging, and I'm finished. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out all my hundreds of tutorials so um thanks everybody for watching and 
Have a good day. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.